On behalf of the elders in Curran and Castle Dawson, can I thank you for continuing to follow along with us and for your prayerful support and for your patience with all the changes which we have made throughout this period of COVID-19. We know it's still a time of great fear and concern in our community and also a time of darkness in our whole country. But we believe it is our calling from God to continue to build that gospel witness and that place of God's people together in Kern and Castle Dawson. And so we hope from Sunday the 11th of October to resume our Sunday evening worship services. Now, as you'll know, we've restarted our Sunday morning services at the beginning of September and we divided those by family for those with adults to come along on the first Sunday and the next adult service it will be on the 4th of October and then the 18th of October and then the other Sunday morning for those with households with preschool, primary school and secondary school aged children and the next services there will be the 11th and the 25th of October for that family service. But our Sunday evening service we believe it's so important that we don't fragment our church but we want to try and build together as all ages and so on our Sunday evenings, we want to try and divide it instead by surname. And so that way we hope to get a good mix of all different ages of our household, of our congregation, of our two church congregations joining together as one family of God. And so our Sunday evening services, we're going to divide by the surname, by the first letter of the surname. And so households with surnames from A to H will be invited on that first Sunday evening of the 11th of October at 6 p.m. and then households with surnames I to Z on the 18th of October again at 6 p.m. and then we'll continue that pattern and so the first Sunday the 11th of October and the third Sunday the 25th of October will be those with households A to H and then the 18th of October and the 1st of November households I to Z and our Sunday morning services will continue through that time in the way that we have been. We also think it would be good at this stage then to move our midweek prayer meeting on the Wednesday night back across to our church hall. And so we know that some of you might be disappointed who've been following along the live stream, but we hope that will be a good encouragement to those able to be there to, to meet and see each other and to be able to pray together. And we hope that you will be able to join us whenever God so allows us and gives you the grace. As always, please do make sure you follow all the official government advice with regards to whether you've been told to shield, or if you or any member of your household or any member of a social bubble that you may be part of experiences any symptoms that have been identified as related to COVID-19, a new continuous cough, a high temperature, a loss of taste or smell, you must not attend but must go through that isolation and testing procedure before you come and join us at our church services again. We also are continuing to follow all the government regulations and guidelines with regards to our seating. So it will be coming in through the tower door in Castle Dawson where there will be elders there to meet you. There'll be hand sanitizer available and then to bring you in and seat you in the church building in a way that is safe and keeps us socially distanced from one another. And we really thank you for how everyone has been so good at listening and following along with all those advice and instructions. We're also encouraging and recommending the wearing of face masks unless you're exempt, as in those who are under the age of 13 or those who cannot wear them for a medical reason. And again, we do believe that while that is uncomfortable, we believe it is good for us to serve and protect one another in whatever way we're able to. And we thank you again for your consideration and patience in doing that. We know that these changes continue, but we also hope that we continue to go forward as a church, forward in prayer, forward in worship, forward in being a gospel witness, that the glory may be to Jesus Christ in the power and presence of the Holy Spirit.